here they are. Okay, this one was the original. These guys are done with Big Lots yarn. This guy was done with Red Heart, and I'll tell you a little bit more about all that in a moment. Okay, as you can see, we've got the Minion Army amassing. And uh, what I've done here, this was the original. It was the crochet. And I think the pattern is actually better suited to crochet. I was trying to do all these in a hurry because Thomas wanted one for every one of his team members at baseball. Now, you know, I'm thinking not all of them are going to want one of these, but um, I can't very well show up without enough for everyone, so I had to do it. So, I did the hat version on the knitting machine. The hat portion, I mean, on the knitting machine. And then I crocheted the eyes and I embroidered that and put their little hair on the top and tried to give everybody a different face. Now, this sounds good in theory, but knitting does not lend itself to embroidery very well. So, I guess I'm going to have to go back and figure out, I don't know. I don't know what to do with these. So, um, I'll be working on that. <laughs> I have to do something. So, because the mouths are what make them. I mean, that's what gives them their personality. Now, I do have more eyes and I have more to do, obviously. But, um, some of them are going to have only one eye in the middle, just like in the movie. So, we'll just have to wait and, and see what comes out. So, keep, stay tuned for that. Um, this smile seems to tolerate the stitches a little bit better. So, everybody may end up having this kind of smile, so that's a good option. Now, another thing you may notice is that they are different colors. These, these two in particular, or these four and this one, are different yellows. And that's because this one is done with Big Lots yarn. It's actually two strands of DK. And this is Red Heart, one strand of Red Heart. My knitting machine, the Addy Express, does not like Red Heart. Hates it. Kept skipping stitches. Um, just, just choked on it all over. So I had a really hard time getting this one done. I fought to try to get some other ones done. So um, when I run out of this, I think I'm going to just have to crochet the rest uh, of these, which shouldn't take that long, I don't think. So. So we'll see. And again, if the kids don't get excited about these or um, if I don't get enough, I always, always have a charity program going on. And right now, they need children's hats uh, for this particular mission that we're, we're working on. So this would be perfect. So um, none of it's going to go to waste one way or the other. Here's the cat bed that I'm working on right now. And I plopped it up here. And as you can see, from the cat hair. He has already been enjoying it. He thinks it's great and I'm not even finished with it. See, here's the hook. Still got the hook and a big loop. So, I need to finish this for him because he'll like it once it has sides on it. Not that he doesn't like it now. And yes, I've started another work in progress. I have got some bad news um, last Wednesday that a dear friend of mine has cancer and one of the things she told me is how cold it is in the chemo room and so of course I want her to have at least one handmade hat by me if not more but I was I went to the local yarn shop and um, it wasn't open it doesn't open until 11 and I was going to be brave this time and buy some really quality yarn uh, but it wasn't open, and it was like 10, 15, and I didn't have time to wait around for it. So I went to Joann's and tried to find something that was something I thought would be really soft and squishy and comfy. And she wears a lot of dark colors. And so I found this Bernat Roving. And I don't know what roving is other than I hear my um, friends on the Yarn Addicts board talk about it when they're spinning. But it is real bouncy. It's a, it's a 
bulky, if you can see it, it's a bulky weight and I, it is soft, but not soft as like, you know, cashmere or something like that, but it's, I don't know, I really like it a lot. So I'm, I'm trying a slip stitch hat, uh, not sure how that's working out so far, so I'm not even going to show it to you right now because I may have to rip and start over, but anyway, this is, um, 80% acrylic and 20% wool, and it's it's just a really nice yarn. I, I I need to learn more about it. It's really it's really nice. I like it a lot. So that's all I've got for you this week. So I'll see you next week. Bye.